this Bishop Mar Mari, yeah. he reminds me of of, of our Archbishop uh, Carlo Maria Vigano. Mm -hmm. He he's he's our Vigano. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that that's the best way that Good I analogy. can put it. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, he 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 pulls no punches on anything. On government, on 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 the jab, on big tech, on big right. pharma, on right. Islam, he's just he's just somebody who's a truth teller. Now, you know, I did hear a couple of Catholic purists that were saying, "Hey, he's a heretic. He's an historian, Orthodox heretic." I know. You know, uh, I all I could say is this, Terry, is that some of these Orthodox uh, schismatics like him. And Father uh, and and Father uh, Zacharia Botros, Terry, they have more apostolic courage and Big love time. for Jesus yep. than most Catholics that have the fullness of faith. Yep, well said. So that's my my look in our church right now, and then say I'm going to condemn somebody outside the church. Are you kidding me? Look at the cowardness in the Catholic Church when it comes to speaking out for Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I I don't want to have to say it, but it's true. We need more. We need more bishops like him in the Catholic Church. Yeah, Terry. And this is this isn't the first rodeo for Islam. No. They've, been, they've been going into churches and attacking priests and bishops for a long time. All you got to do is like an Internet search. It happened uh, not a couple of years ago. Uh, a Muslim terrorist walked up to a Catholic bishop in mass in Mexico yeah. and started stabbing him just like this. Yeah. Uh, it, it it also happened in France yeah. during a daily mass. I remember Catholic the priest was priest. Uh, yeah, yep. offering mass. Yeah, I remember. And a Muslim went in there and and stabbed him to death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So th this is not some. And I'll tell you why this happens. I'll tell you why this happens, because Islam is a satanic religion. That's why. Why do I say that? Well, two reasons. They reject Jesus Christ. His lordship and kingship. The Bible is very clear that those who, re who reject the son cannot be saved. They reject Jesus' his claims. They reject that he's a savior of the world. They reject that he's a son of God, co-equal with the father. Secondly, in the Quran, there are 164 violent verses that tell Muslims to attack and kill non-Muslims. So the book is systemically flawed. Islam is not a religion of peace like George Bush told us, Terry. Oh. It's it's a political <laughs> ideology. Yep. And, and 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 it's it's radical beliefs are completely intolerant of anybody else. It's the 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 the, the Quran is completely at odds with the Holy Bible and the Quran and Sharia law is completely at odds with the US Constitution. Can I just jump in, Jesse? And add jump something? right in, Terry. And this is how it is. You want proof of that? I have Muslim friends, okay? And I asked them if Sharia law said, came in, and you were told by your Muslim faith that you must kill me. Because, you know, we're in Sharia law. You guys take over and you got the majority. What would you do? He says, well, I'd have to kill you. I'm like, thanks for your honesty. I mean, but... Jesse, I've used this many times over Muslims. I ask them, I say, and you don't see a problem with that? No. Allah's great. See how they're, they're, they're either um, uh, brainwashed or there's something satanic about that, Jesse, that you would tell somebody that my religion says, I have to kill you, I will just kill you. See, that's not a religion of peace. Terry, and also, here's the danger. Tell me. Is that a lot of Muslim... Terrorists yeah. are coming into this country through oh, the south border. Exactly. Yeah. So what we saw over in Australia, yeah. uh, don't think those things aren't brewing right under our noses here in the United States. Yep. Because what happens yep. is I've, I've talked to a Muslim who converted to the Catholic faith. His name's Daniel Ali. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, I bought his book. It was called 101 Questions yeah. Catholics Know About Islam yep. from Ascension Press. Yep. And so I talked, I've met him several times at different conferences that we spoke at together. And in his book, I asked him, I said, you have a section in your book where you talk about uh, immigration, uh, Islamic uh, jihad through immigration. Yes. That's what it's called, jihad. And he goes, yeah, Jess, that's a technique. He goes, I used to teach that because I, I, I'm i a scholar, I'm wow. an Islamic scholar. He goes, I used to teach that in the University of Baghdad. Wow. He said, uh, what we, the plan is, is we know we can't beat the West 
hand to hand, mano a mano. We can't. The, the West has superior uh, military arsenal and, 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 and superior, yep. yeah, superior technology and weapon systems. Mm -hmm. He says, but the way we can beat the West, and he goes, we, we, I would teach this as an Islamic scholar. We just have to outpopulate them, That's it. have more children, and then move into their countries yep. and then start taking over positions of power. Like in Congress, we have several radical Muslims in Congress in the Democrat Party. Incredible. Uh, he says, that's all we have to do. It's called jihad through immigration. And guess what, Terry? Uh, I'll tell you the first country that's going to fall. There's countries in Europe that are, that are on the verge of collapsing. Yeah. Uh, 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 to uh, basically yeah. Islamic domination. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree, Jess. And that's why I say again from the beginning of the show about it Italy right now, 10% less than 10% are practicing their faith. Their demographics are showing they're not having babies. Who's having babies? In England, you know what the most common name in England is? Mohammed. You got it. It's not George. No. <laughs>